Podcasting. Good morning, Mega Podlings. It's Crazy Joe. I am in the parking lot of Water Tower Cinema. I have not been in those doors in, well, probably a, a month or so. Last time I was here, I saw Bill and Ted and New Mutants back to back. I like to come here as often as I possibly can. Unfortunately, there just hasn't been anything new opening to go see. Uh, I want to support my local movie theater. I know a lot of you want to support your local movie theaters too, but it's a challenge when there's not a lot of movies out. I'm here today to see the movie Unhinged, which was the first new movie to open in theaters. Uh, in, in, well, that was, that was their goal, to be the first new movie to open in theaters. Did Bill and Ted beat them? I, I, think, I think they were the week before Bill and Ted. But I haven't gotten around to seeing it. I was going to go see it a couple of weeks ago, but I caught a cold. It was just a cold, a minor cold, but still in this current environment, you don't want to go out if you're even a little sick, you know, because you might be sneezing, you might be coughing. And even though it may not be coronavirus, you could frighten the people around you. They don't know what you have. They just know that the guy next to them is coughing and sneezing. So even if you have a minor cold, it's best to stay home these days. Finally getting here, finally getting to see Unhinged. Look, we got to talk about movie theaters right now, man. I love movie theaters. I know a lot of you love movie theaters. They're very, very important. They're hurting right now. They are hurting, and these delays on big movies like James Bond and Black Widow is not helping the situation. They need big crowd-pleaser movies to open to bring people to the theater. If there's no movies, the people aren't going to go. And if the people aren't going, the theaters are hurting. Uh, we've heard Regal Cinemas is actually going to close their doors again until 2021. So if you have a local theater, if you have the means, please go out and support them. If, if nothing else, buy gift cards. Buy gift cards. That will help them out. If you don't feel comfortable going to the movies or there's nothing to see, you buying gift cards will help them keep the lights on. There's a lot of doom and gloom naysayers out there who want to tell you that movie theaters are going to go away. They're going to close down forever. Don't believe it. The movie theater industry, or the movie industry, requires theaters. It's part of the infrastructure of making movies. The big studios like Disney and Warner Brothers know that the biggest part of their pro profit comes from the theatrical release. A lot of people think, oh, theaters are going to close, everything's going to go to streaming. That economic model does not work. It's been proven time and time again. Just look at Mulan. Disney took a chance on Mulan, putting it on Disney Plus, and it was a miserable failure. It They lost so much money in Mulan that they were considering releasing the movie sold to Disney Plus as well, and they backtracked on that and decided to stick with their theatrical release date because um, Mulan just made so little money. So, yes, theaters are hurting now. They're in a slump. Some theaters may not survive. They may close, which is why I say support your local theater. Because some theaters will close. Uh, it's just the economics, and it's a very, very sad thing. But the studios require the theaters. And uh, as a result, just it's the, it's the money. It's the money in making movies. These theaters have to be open. So you can bet uh, that... One way or another, the theaters will stay open, even if it means the studios have to offer them a bailout themselves. I don't know what's going to happen. We will see. But this idea that everything's just going to move to streaming, that is a fantasy. It is not going to happen because economically that does not work. All right, let's go in. Let's check out Unhinged. Feels good to be back here. Being within these walls, watching a movie, is one of my favorite things in the world. You know what? I just remembered I have to stop and put my mask on. I haven't put my mask on yet. There we go. Got my mask on. Let's try this again. Let's head in to the theater. Theater one. Keep 
Doesn't say unhinged on the marquee, but this is it. So several months ago, we learned that there was a movie coming to theaters called Unhinged, starring Russell Crowe. Most of us had not heard of the movie prior to the first trailers hitting. It was one of those smaller films that, you know, not, not a big event film by any means. But it made a splash by announcing that they wanted to be the first movie to be back in theaters. They wanted to beat all the others. Tenet, New Mutants, Bill and Ted. They wanted to be the first movie in theaters when theaters opened. And that was a bold move. It was a bold move. As you know, a lot of studios have been bumping their releases. We had the release dates of Tenet and New Mutants and, uh, oh my gosh, you name it. All these movies, their dates keep getting bumped back, bumped back, bumped back. And here was this movie, Unhinged, that was determined to be the first movie back in theaters. They wanted it. When Tenet had a release date, they were like, we'll be the week before Tenet. Tenet got pushed back. Disney put a release date out for New Mutants. They'll be like, we're the, we'll be the one before New Mutants. Determined to be number one back in theaters. And I respected that. I watched the trailer. It looked okay. It looked fine. Didn't look like anything I had to see. But I really was taken by the fact that they were so devoted to uh, being the first movie back in theaters that I just had a crazy respect for that. I didn't get right out to see the movie. Uh, you know, I, I didn't get out to it. I, I, I saw New Mutants. I saw Bill and Ted. I saw Tenet. But I never got to Unhinged. Well, we're in a weird spot where there's not a lot of movies out right now. And I want to support my local movie theater. I want to support Water Tower Cinema very badly. I want to go out there and see movies. But it's not easy when they don't have new movies opening. It's like, well, I mean... How many times am I going to sit and watch Bill and Ted? You know, it's I, I mean, it was great. It was a great movie. But am I going to go see that three, four times? I needed something new to open. So finally, I was like, okay, I'm going to go out. I'm going to see Unhinged. I want to check out Unhinged. And um, number one, I want to support the movie theater. Number two, I want to support this movie that was so bold that they were determined to be the first one back in theaters. But it, like I said, it wasn't a movie I was really looking forward to. I gotta tell you, Unhinged is one of the year's best films. And I know, the bar is low. I mean, what? How many films have come out this year? Ten? <laughs> there hasn't been many movies that actually made it out this year. So calling one the best is like, it's a very small crop. Uh, but, yeah, man, it's surprisingly good. It's surprisingly good. It's a thriller. I guess it's officially called a thriller. Though it's borderline a horror movie. If we're going to get right down to it, it's borderline horror. It's a movie about road rage. It's a movie about a, a guy who got honked at in traffic and didn't like it. And he decides he's going to make the person who honked at him pay and give her the worst day of her life. It's a lot like falling down in that you have a guy who's having a very bad day and he flips. But... Russell Crowe's character goes off the deep end to an extent that dwarfs Michael Douglas in Falling Down. Falling Down's Michael Douglas character comes off as positively uh, well-adjusted compared to Russell Crowe's character. Uh, this movie is intense. It is violent. It is fast-paced and a little bit shocking it never lets up it never lets up i was just glued to this movie this movie's great this is a real underrated gem that people should see now it's already been announced for a, a, a physical media release date i'm sure it'll be on digital video pretty soon but it's still playing in theaters across the country. If you have a theater open in your area, I, I'm telling you, go support theaters. I really want to see people out there supporting their local movie theaters. So if you have the option to see Unhinged in a theater, obviously this is a movie that was made to be seen in a theater to the point where the filmmakers uh, made it 
and the studio really made it a priority to make their movie the first movie back in theater. So if you get a chance to see it in a theater, that is obviously the ideal way to see this movie. If you can't see it in a theater, you will have the opportunity very soon to see it on video and digital. And wow, what, what a movie. What a movie. I was kind of blown away by Unhinged. And part of it's because I went in with low expectations. I won't lie. I went in with very low expectations. I was like, okay, this will be fun. This will be okay. Um, I enjoyed the crap out of Unhinged. I I'm giving this a big recommendation. I'm giving this a big high five. See Unhinged. You won't be sorry. I'm telling you, if I make a list of the 10 best films I saw in a theater this year, which admittedly is a very small list, Unhinged is going to be way up there it's better than Tenet <laughs> I'll tell you that this is a better movie than Tenet Tenet got so much attention and Unhinged is a better film all right guys keep wearing those pajamas keep wearing those pajamas with the plastic feet keep wearing those pajamas tell everyone you need keep wearing those pajamas with the back door flap keep wearing those pajamas don't open it to trap Some people call them bitches, some people call them jammies. They can come embroidered with big money and no whammies. They can have a hundred tiny commander and damas. But no matter how they look, just keep on wearing those pajamas. Keep on wearing those pajamas. Keep wearing those pajamas. And now we're having fun. Keep wearing those pajamas. And now the song is done.